Hey guys, welcome back to math class. Today we are talking about probability and it's really more vocab than anything else and fractions to decimals to percents. So we're going to review that here in a little bit. So vocab. First of all, what is probability? When you hear somebody talking about probability or like the chance of something, something happening, that's probability. So probability is the chance. Of something happening. And we're just going to, it's mathematical chance of something happening. So then we're going to talk about experiments. When you do an experiment in science, you do something. So same thing. When you see the word experiment in these problems, Somebody is doing something. So we're doing something. Then we've got theory. If you ever hear somebody say theory, like in theory, that is what you think might happen, like a hypothesis. I like to think of theory as like in an ideal world, what would happen? Um, so like in theory, this is what would happen. But in reality, something else happened. And in that reality, whatever did happen, we call an outcome. Outcome is what actually happened. And then I love doing these. This is, uh, there's something called a sample space. And a sample space is where you list every possible outcome, every possible combination. So if you've ever heard like the Sonic commercials where they talk about like, there's X million numbers of combinations of drinks, like with all their different flavors you can add. That's a sample space. Somebody sat down and created the mathematical list of all the different kinds of Sonic drinks that you can create. Um, and that's a sample space. And then there's something called a complement with an E, complement. If you are trying to figure out what you want to happen, the complement is the likelihood that it won't happen or the probability of what you don't want to happen. Uh, probability it won't happen. Now that might get a little confusing because it's the opposite of whatever you're shooting for. So if we're trying to figure out like what are the chances that I'm going to get a face card in a deck of cards, the complement is not face cards. But if the question asks what's the probability of not getting face cards, then the complement is the face card. So just read carefully. It might get confusing. All right. Now let's dive into the math parts of this. When we deal with probability, we look at what we want to happen compared to total outcomes or total possibilities. So if I have, um, we're just going to like make a sample. Or, so purple, 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 like if I had marbles, but you don't have marbles. And then a blue one. And then yellow, yellow. Orange, 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 and green. All right, so the question is going to ask, what is the probability? And it's going to put a P for probability. So what is the probability of picking blue? So the way I work with probability is what I want to happen out of total possibilities. So how many were blue? There's one blue, B. How many total are there, including the blue, absolutely all of these, how many? 
there are 10. So the probability of picking blue randomly is one out of 10. Now let's turn that into a percent. What, well, let's turn it into a decimal first. What is one tenth as a decimal? 0.1. And then as a percent, it's 10%. Remember to go from decimals to percents. We do from decimals to percents. It's two decimal place jumps. And then from percent to decimal, it's two decimal place jumps the other way. All right, now let's do a different one. Um, let's do purple. The probability, oh, I don't want to write in purple. Probability of getting a purple or a P. So how many purples? Three. Out of how many total? 10. Now let's write that as a decimal. 0.3. And then as a percent, 30%. Forgot to put my percent sign. So there's a 30% chance I would randomly pick a purple. Now, is that likely to happen? When you hear the phrase, is that likely to happen? It's kind of over 50%. If there's a greater than 50% chance of something happening, it's pretty, it's likelier to happen than not happen. All right. So speaking of that, let's look at the probability of not yellow. How many of these are not yellow? There are eight. Let me scooch this down. There are eight not yellow out of how many total? 10. And let's write this as a decimal. And now as a percent. 80%. Now, there's another way that we can look at these. You can say one out of 10. So you would say like one colon 10. So like a ratio. We've done those before with ratios. So this one would be three colon 10. And this one would be eight out of 10. But can you reduce eight out of 10? Yeah, it would be four out of five. So we would say there's a four and five chance. All right, that's pretty much it. A lot of the questions are going to ask you like, is this likely? Is it not likely? So you're just looking at these. Out of these three, which one is likely to happen? Not getting a yellow. Which one's least likely to happen? Getting a blue. And that's pretty much probability for now. I will see you guys next time. Later.